Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. In today's two minute tip, I'm gonna talk about ways you can protect your seedlings that are coming out of your earth beds from mice, rodents, rabbits, birds, how you can kind of warm the space up a little bit if you need to to get things started early, and a little bit about frost protection. And you pretty much visually can see it right now. Now I'll be doing two minute tips on Tuesdays and Thursdays if you want to subscribe, but let's just get right to it. So I'm in the greenhouse over at Freetown Farm. We have peas growing up here. We also have mice. Mice tend to like to chew down the tops of these sprouts. So the design is pretty simple, and I'm running an experiment. Uncovered, covered. Any plastic container, just cut out the bottom. You sink it in deep enough to give it a little bit of strength so nothing can go under there. And then you can just basically collar whatever seed starch you have, whatever transplant you have. A lot of people have birds that come in and like to, you know, peck the tops off of there. Rabbits come in, chew them down. You can even use something as small as this, especially for uh, mice and stuff. They don't really go climbing over things. They're just kind of, you know, scurrying along the ground looking for things to eat. Animals want to do the least amount of work to get the most reward. So they don't like climbing up things, you know, unless they're starving. For rabbits, any of these designs work. The collar, they don't like putting their heads in places because they don't know what's down there. But you can use wire like this, wire like that, chicken wire of course, and that will stop rabbits from getting in there. The larger the hole, you can just let the plants grow up through there, remove it later after they grow. For birds, you may want something like this. I use this at the bottom of my raised beds in case you have moles or voles, they can't climb through this. Chicken wire is the standard, that's perfect, that will stop birds from getting in there. And you want to let it hang out a little bit, especially if rabbits are coming over and they bump into this. They're just not going to like that. You just cut out a square, fold up the corners, drop it over whatever size container you want. Ask your friends to save these for you. You can go to uh, Home Depot nurseries, ask for extra pots that they don't want, etc. Just cut out the bottom. Now, for frost protection, you know, you can use this as a collar. If the frost is coming in, saran wrap over the top rubber band around it and you know pretend the one underneath isn't there and then you cover it up it's good to go this would probably work too you could just drop that in there but that will give a little bit of frost protection if the temperature is dropping below 30 to degree 32 degrees or freezing um, peas don't really need that but your warm weather crops might this is another way to do it you could put a bag right across the top this will also bring in heat warm up the soil if you're doing some warm crops and you want this space to be warmer so they get growing a little bit. But these are just different methods you can use to protect against mice, rodents, rabbits, birds, frost protection, and kind of get your plants started a little bit early by creating some warmth. Use them as you wish. This isn't great on a large scale, but for smaller gardens, you can just set these up in different size pots and you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.